Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with a Wild Card Wednesday. Yeah! All right, Dan, uh, Wild Card Wednesday. <laughs> Wild Card Wednesday, where we showcase a mystery beer that we get received from a viewer of the channel or friend. Hopefully. They wrap it up, and we Before try and guess view? what it is. Right. Yay! All right. Um, yeah, I'm Dan. That's Mike. Yep. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. This uh, this beer comes from courtesy of the other half of the FLX, the one that pays the rent around these rooms. Like I guess I don't remember buying it, but... Uh, <laughs> no, the real other half. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, my, my percentage just keeps dropping. <laughs> Nikki. So uh, if you've been following the channel, our, wow, our, our, uh, our wives, uh, they have their own code names. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's the other half. And your delicate and, spice, yeah, and Mexican and wildflower. So, all right, all right. So, uh... This looks like 408 different beers that I've seen before. Uh, super thick and hazy. I'll tell you what. This totally looks like an English barley wine. Yeah, like easily 13%. Uh, nice sap, no, it, finger of foamy head it's on It's got to be a double IPA or an IPA. I, I'm, yeah, I'm at double, like right off the rip. It looks beautiful. It's very vibrant. Thick turkey gravy. Yeah. Dull orange, yeah. White, thick. Oh. Funky. Oh. Vegetal. That tastes, that <sighs> smells wonderful. Oniony with some, you know, citrus, citra kind of orange in there. This is another half. It smells. I mean, it good. smells like another. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she okay. Smell smells grassy, kind of bitter. So, she gifted us four yes mystery beers. Yes, uh, we've already done one, and it was a wild ride. It was a um, it was a wild ride. Lives were changed. She got so stressed about this, and she's like, "Ah, you know, whatever." And you know, I think it's been pleasant so far. So. Okay, so it, it, orange, yeah. big orange, big orange, big pithy, ripe orange. Dive in. Cheers. Tastes like it smells. A little thin. A little really? thin. See, I think it's a full mouthfeel. I think the body could be a little thin. Yeah, yeah you're right. The body, the body's a little thinner than I thought mm. it was going to be. This is very, very citrusy. Super citrusy. With a touch of tropical... A little drying, like right on the front of the palate. Like the, the front half of my tongue is just... It is drying. This makes me think this is some big beer. Like at 8.5%. Yeah, I'm, I'm, 9 I'm IPA. easily at 8.5%. Because this be like a triple IPA? There's a there's a, a bit of carbonation in there kind of breaking everything up. Um, it's nice and cold right out of the fridge, which I, I think is helping. I'm not going to lie, this... This 100% comes off as like a citra. Oh, I yeah. I'm like, like all, all citra. citra. All citra. I, yeah. Yep. That's where I'm at, too. I think this beer is like a 9% citra that classifies as a double IPA. Okay. I, I'm going to I'm gonna say 8.5. Eight um, all citra, double IPA. What do you rate it? It's a little bit boozy. Is it boozy or is it green? It's not green it's or hot burn, but I think it's a little boozy. I think the boozy <sighs> are apparent. I, I was kind of leaning on the green side. It could um, be both. I think it, it's a little bit hop saturated and it's a little boozy. Cripes, that last. It, I'm starting to get like a little hop burn back there. Yeah. I give it like a four, one. Yeah, I, I'm. I was thinking four two right off the the bat. It it doesn't. It tastes like a bunch of beers I've had before. Do, do you think there's added like added orange or something into it? Clementine or orange? Oh, well, maybe. Because it, it is. Like, it comes off hoppy, and, mm -hmm. like, you get that orange, but it just feels like there's a little... It feels like Berry Bonds. <laughs> Whereas, okay, <laughs> it's a great beer on its own, and I'm sure it'll shine, but just needed, like, a little juice, <laughs> you know? I'll tell you what. Joe, like... don't come at me. <clears throat> Joe's Arcade. He's a giant <laughs> fan. He oh, will yeah, come yes. at me, bro. Um... um I I think there is there's a little sweetness and I think it's like a bubblicious orange piece of orange bubblicious gum back there. Okay, um, but it's good. 
Uh, yeah. All right. Did we you, get everything? Did you say ABV? Uh, I said eight five. I you said nine. Yeah. Um. Anything double else? Double IPA. I'm saying all Citra double IPA. Yeah. Do you want to take a stab at what brewery or? Oh, I just got like this. There's a multi backbone right there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Should get that a little chalky, like. Mm, man, I was gonna say abomination, but their their stuff usually tends to be thick. And... Yeah. I don't know. No, I, I don't no. care. I don't care to venture. I don't. No. I don't care to venture. Like I feel like I I I feel like we nailed this. I think so too. We're gonna be completely wrong. It's Zool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, what the hell? It's an awesome looking can. What is yeah, that, bro? Uh, what is the brewery? False Hope Brewing. That's new. Exident existential dread. 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 Double Eight, IPA. Eight okay. percent. Uh, Look at that label. Uh, Show that tropical label. citrus and terror, and hopefully there's some more uh, things. Dude, that is a great looking label. Dude, yeah, that's death. New beer. I've never even heard of them. This uh, is fun. All right, what, what else is on there? Existence is a nightmare. Freedom is fabrication. Your heroes are parasites. Success is malignant. Happiness is fleeting. Pandemonium, pandemonium is forever. Spread the dread. This just took a downward spiral. I feel like this is the official beer. Of emos everywhere. Of right? Black Cloud Dan. <laughs> Uh, wow, eight percent ABV. Uh, our, right. our aim is to bring you some respite from the dystopian nightmare that is our world. Well, with that description, you're not overworked, <laughs> underpaid, and bound by a lifestyle. Are you that's forcing by <laughs> that's forcing upon you is no way to live. Rebel against your corporate overlords by enjoying yourself, expressing yourself, and rejecting society's sciencing. Nor Normancies. It's got Treehouse Farm. Uh, they're selling false hope. Don't buy it. What dress? Where are they from? Oh. Um, Did it say? Look, that is Treehouse Farm. It is. It's so tiny. Uh, North Haven, 12%. Oh, oh I see. 12%. I see 12%. 12%. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Dang. Oh, we didn't even look on the last one. Um, It was brewed yesterday. Oh, Jesus Christ. It says Mondays, am I right? <laughs> this beer is such a black cloud. <laughs> it is like... I see that. This Go ahead. awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So, so what, what is it? Ex Existential Dread what's, what's by the name False of the beer? Hope All Brewing right. Company. I want to see if we got... Uh, if they dope. Look. False Hope... X. Art. Oh, here we go. Art designed by D. F. Yeah, it doesn't say the hops, but yeah. I'm gonna tag that in the description because this can't. I, I, I feel like we nailed it. I, I think we did too. W without being, you know, this is delicious. Good call. <laughs> this was awesome. Yeah, that's cool. We yeah, never had it. Uh, New I beer. That's even better. Uh, I was off by. You were off by 0.5. I was off yep. by a full percent. Uh, but yeah, double IPA. It's gotta um, be a citra hop. It tastes exactly. exactly like it's, it. Yeah. This is. I feel like I'm burning in hell. Just <laughs> I, look at the the I'm guy depressed. is burning in hell. Dude, I'm depressed. In the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Just... Like corporate overlords. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's wild. Well, <laughs> thus wraps up another wild right. card Wednesday. We're gonna try and get the mood back up, brighten the flowers, bring the sunshine out after just being pulled into the nether world. From this delicious beer. Uh, down in the description, leave a comment. What'd you think? How'd we do? Uh, we got all the link trees. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah. Cheers.